Hey guys, how is it going? It's Fake Oak. I'm actually once again with another Legends of Runeterra video, and Narcissus is back. I don't know how to feel about it, but I'm glad to see some returning archetypes. I think that the Kindred change has really uh, kind of brought back a few of the older decks, and it's good to see Narcissus as a new friend with Kindred, uh, really feeling like a pretty solid deck right now. So if you want to get back into that kind of action, deck list, deck codes in the description. Uh, leave a like, hand scrab. Have a great day. Uh, minion is going to be great for having like unlimited chump blockers. Uh, withering maybe not a keep. I don't think it'll find significant value actually. Uh, but then again, there could be a chance that he has like some weird Zornite openers. But we deal with that earlier. It's going to be chunky units later. So withering has got to go. Merciless can trade into potentially Draven. Or Blighted. <laughs> well, that's a five damage. Ouch. Not much we could have done about that, unfortunately. Hopefully no fearsome. I can deal with that. Uh, we probably just don't trade here. Oh, it's Kindred Slaying. That's going to be relevant. I think we want to hold up the Slay. So we're going to tank a fair bit of damage this turn. Okay, so he wants to go for the push. That works for me. Or to save Nexus damage. Maybe saving Nexus damage is actually correct here. Yeah, no, this is actually correct. Because we can just play Blighted next turn, it's much more safe. Um, I think we developed Kindred, so he can't play Rumble effectively. Embrace life. Expect death. It's a little bit sus. Not much I can do about Rumble currently. Like a withering mist or something like that next turn would actually be really powerful. Now we're cooking. Okay, I wasn't expecting him to do this. I wonder if we just swing and push a bit of damage. Not gonna play around survival skills there. Kind of like I do need to start finding some reach. Fading Icon development would be key here. The Kindred puts him in a little bit of an awkward spot. I think we have to pass here, as risky as it might seem.
I don't think we ever really want to play around willing death, do we? So I'm not going to swing with Kindred here. I'm going to hold up Bribe Negation. Face is kind of cool here because it means we can kind of um, stop a little bit of damage. Uh, we'll chill out. We'll play probably minion here. Although we can burst speed out uh, fearsome. Uh, to be fair, I think we'd much rather do this. And then lead into Merciless. He's got three cards in hand that we can't see. So we're kind of chilling. And if it is Might, we'll surely figure out a way to play around it. So my bet is that he's going to play the Risen Rider. Kind of like forcing us to play Merciless. Do I need to respect, and how do I even respect it? There's actually no way. So might, it's gonna make him deal six. Sorry, nine, seven, plus ignition. vile to bring us back up a little bit of HP but I think the issue is yeah just kind of like mind to get excited it's not something that we can currently beat Withering's a draw. So we're gonna vile face this. I think that's gonna be it for now.
So in response to that, we play Withering White. Then maybe he has Decimate. So we have to hold up right. Case of burst speed chompers. I need a fearsome blocker. So I guess we're going to do this. Then we play this next so we can get access to waking sands. This is the play around. I don't know. If, I don't think they main deck flame chompers, but this is still the line anyway because we uh, can trade this into one of the fearsomes regardless. Looks like it might have another Might, which we can easily outplay. So we'll go in there for a quick swing. So I can't beat double answers, right? play it safe because if it is decimate we beat decimate right and if he does have a get excited well gg I gotta think here because it might be correct to actually just send it. Because we've already played out right. If he has an answer, he has an answer. If I don't, if I wait for too long, he might find double answers. So let's just pretend he has a second Noxian Fervor because we're never beating Mystic or get excited regardless. Unless we can somehow make it back to our action. Seems like a stretch. I'm just going to send it now and hope for the best. If it is Noxium, we can beat it with Vile. Yeah, GG. A little bit risky, but honestly... You'd reckon if they had it, they would send it. To be fair though, it does make sense to pass. Gives you a chance to find double answers to atrocity. Spiders, we should be chilling. Oh, 
I'll keep the fading icon box and kindred. It's a bunch of removal sources. It's unlikely that he open attacks. There's nothing to fear. Okay, ready. So we'll just block it up, play it safe. Probably hit him with a pass. Yeah, we'll hit him with a pass. Uh, if he takes the pass, though, to be fair, I could walk into some problems. I think it's still always correct to be passing in situations like this, and you have to be bluffing lots of removal sources. Having the box in hand means that, like, we can at least shut down most of his development next turn. No one's the wiser. If he plays something, well, yeah, I'll commit to some lines here. I think we think we at best just want to hold up. We just want to have Withering Whale available next turn. <sighs> There's not a lot we can do about Frenzied Skitterer, but if it is Frenzied Skitterer, we could always consider Waking Sands. I don't fight. Uh, so we probably have one thing connecting. That's about it. We just hold up Withering White. Withering is just really strong here. Our brother's bond can push a little bit of damage, but never see it we can pretty much trade off everything. Minus the one fearsome. You'll see me. Yes. And like alternatively we could box. So like, no, nah, that's not correct. This is just a line. We miss out on tons of healing though, unfortunately. Come to think of it. In fact, that doesn't really, does that even net us much healing? To be honest. I guess he just doesn't want to bother anymore. Caitlin Kindred. We'll keep the curve. Gently, gently. Fair enough. And he must be playing Archivist to be playing cards like that, right? Very interesting. I guess he just really wants to pack his bags. I mean, we're, I think that's fine for us, honestly, if he's influencing his, influencing his deck that way.
I'm going to do this, um, this is kind of to give myself a glimpse beyond value. Definitely expecting Kindred to die here. Weird thing about Kindred Mirrors is that... If we would like, mark something, like if there's two Kindreds on the field and we're marking stuff, if like a Kindred marks another Kindred for example, I'm guessing whoever has the attack token would have the priority on the kill. I'm just going to continue to try and hold up box mana. analysis we can take the draw here there's no interaction since he's like tapping on a mana let's take it I think once we get this Nas is big enough, we'll be chilling. Depends how many Vengeance he plays. Doesn't look like he is playing Vengeance. Not in his more recent games. Well, he's tapped out a pack. Let me get you that Okay, I'm gonna tap out of box here. I'm gonna try and flip Kindred. He could thermo beam this now. That's fine. I'm gonna open attack here. Try and force some slays. It's going to be far too important to throw away. Oh, 
Yeah, Kindred's just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna go more all in. All in on the um, Nazi strategy. What does this got discarded? Atrocity. We don't know play anything here. Tough places breed tough people. <clears throat> we stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. So he's gonna go hard to Kindred. That's fine. We also could have boxed there to clear two units. Like if I'm not playing the box, when am I playing the box? That's the question. Maybe I need to like play this turn a little bit differently. Maybe just box now. Uh, four, nine, plus three is twelve. He's already played Double Glimpse Beyond. So unless he has a third one, his ability to like stop the bonk, siphoning strike is pretty minimum. How do I make this guy fearsome? Think carefully. There is no undoing what has been done. There is no way to really make him fearsome, unfortunately. We can try and push some damage and hope for an atrocity top deck.
There's a better way to block here as well. He can put the elusive sting officer into this. So this is crazy line where next turn I play double box and kill the Lidros. Life and, death inexorably <clears throat> into and then go for an open attack, holding up right negation. So we'll see if he actually commits into the Lidros. Okay. What are you playing? You're playing like Mystic Shots. He's not playing GEs. Okay, it's really good that he doesn't have the second one. That means we always have first action. So now he needs to develop a fearsome blocker. I don't think he has second mystic in hand. He would use it there on the stack. He also should have held it back to try and win double priority. This is fine. I guess we just don't beat Double Vengeance, unfortunately, unless we draw like Atrocity. All yeah, we just don't beat Double Vengeance, sadly. Still, we're gonna write Hope for the Best. There's no, there's no shot. I guess, wow, he... He did have another Mystic in his hand, but chose not to use it. We would have had to right there, but that's fine, GG. Well, that was a bit of a slugfest, wasn't it? 